So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that because of the length of the question. Uh, translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long. So how do we approach these types of longer questions that a lot of students feel some anxiety around? Uh, first of all, we don't want to read it all the way through. We want to read a sentence at a time, stop at the end of the sentence, make sure we understood what we just read, and to make sure we're also writing down all quantitative information as we see it. We want to write it down um, in our notes. So the question says the front of a roller coaster car is at the bottom of a hill and is 15 feet above the ground. Okay, so this is not just a translate word problem question. This is also a plug in picture question because we just read something that was very visual. There's It's a visual description. So let's just make sure I understand this. So we're at the bottom of a hill. So I have a hill. So let's go like that. So let's say I'm right here. Let's go back this way. So let's say I'm, I'm here. That's the roller coaster car. So at the bottom of the hill, it is 15 feet above the ground. All right. So then let's say this is my roller coaster. So it's not an actual hill. And that the ground is down here and that this is 15 feet. And I can always adjust my picture if I end up being wrong about anything. But they say that's 15 feet above the ground. The next sentence says, if the front of the roller coaster car rises at a constant rate of 8 feet per second. So let's say it's going this way at 8 feet per second second. Which of the following equations gives the height h in feet of the roller coaster car s seconds after it starts uphill? All right, so I think the picture is pretty good. So all we're saying is that in terms of h, in terms of height, we're starting off with 15, right? It's already going to start off at this 15 feet in the, in the sky, basically. And then from there, it will go up this eight feet per second, right? So we have the 15. So then it's going to be added to this eight. And I should it should be an 8s just to represent that, hey, one second later, it's 15 plus eight. But two seconds later, right, it'd be eight times two, which is 16. Then you'd add that to 15. So my variable really is the time, right? So 10 seconds later, third, you know, three seconds later, time really tells you what this uh, quantity will be. So the answer that best fits that is choice A. That's the one that matches what we read. It's how we translate the question. It makes sense with the picture. None of these others make any sense.